Hello, I'm Peter Smith. I'm the director of the Institute for Life Sciences, and I'd like to introduce to you the Human Nexus Project. This is one of the four grand challenges that we're running over the next five years at the Institute. The Human Nexus deals with data, and in this sense, it couples perfectly with the other grand challenges we have, one in new pathways to health, life technologies, global change. All of these areas are going to be generating data. And one of the big challenges we have going forward is how do we handle such data? How do we handle large data sets and complex data sets? Data which has very different characteristics. And yet to get a whole picture of some of the challenges we face, we have to integrate this data together. That is the challenge of the human nexus. So we've divided our, our membership expertise up into four areas to be able to focus on this. We're looking at large and complex data sets based very much around bioinformatics. We're looking at data coming through web sciences and social media. We're looking at how we approach that data and analysis and analyze it through quantitative biology. And we're taking advantage of pretty high level computing powers at the universities in order to do this. So this is a collaborative venture between the Institute for Life Sciences the Southampton Center for Biomedical Research, and the new Webb Institute. So the Human Nexus Project is the youngest of our four grand challenges. It represents a new interdisciplinary synthesis for the university. We're bringing together a set of new talents to look at modeling and to look at how these models might apply within medicine and indeed the environment. The value added is truly to get deeper insights into some of the pressing societal problems we have at the moment. And we're already seeing some our productivity from this synthesis in terms of creating uh, better modeling capabilities to understand data in health sciences. So what's distinctive about this for the university and why should we do that? Well, University of Southampton sits at a very interesting position right now, where we have considerable expertise in the area of web sciences. We have very large, complex biomedical and environmental data sets of very high quality. We have a group of mathematicians who are keen to engage in understanding how to apply their techniques to better understand this data. And of course, we have some marvelous computational powers, both within uh, the engineering departments and indeed in the IRIDIS system. So right now, this is sort of Southampton's moment to bring together a deeper and better understanding of the data that underpins many of our endeavors. Thank you.